Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to edit a time lapse in Magic's Vegas Pro 16, though this will work on previous versions of Vegas Pro as well. All right, so now that we have Vegas Pro open, first you wanna determine your frame rate. I personally like doing my videos in 24p, so I do the uh, 23.976. 24 frames per second pretty much. So once you have that, the first thing you wanna do before you input any pictures into this timeline, you wanna go and you wanna go into your options. You're gonna scroll down to preferences. There you're gonna to go to editing. Now on this tab, there's right here towards the middle, it says new still image length and then in parentheses seconds. Now this is for when you add a photo into your timeline, an image, it will automatically put this time frame for the length of that individual photo. And if you put, let's say for example, 100 photos, then it's gonna be 100 photos with the same length for each photo. Now with the time lapse, once you've taken all your photos, you want each photo to be in one frame. So you have to adjust this down to change the amount of frames. By default, it comes with five seconds, which equates to 120 frames on a 24p timeline. So if you want uh, one frame for a 24p, the actual number is 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 seconds equates to one frame on 24p. Now, if you're doing 30 frames per second, um, you can adjust this number and find the number that you need to equate to the one frame for whatever your timeline frames per second is. So again, I'm shooting at 24 frames per second for my videos, so I want my time lapse to match that. 0 0.05 gets me one frame on 24p. So now that we have that selected, we're gonna import our photos. Here I have a time lapse I think I have about 140 something photos. It's about a 12 minute time lapse that I did shooting at intervals of, I believe, every five seconds with a one, one second or two second exposure. Okay, so now that we have all the photos imported into the project media bin, now we can drag all of them into this timeline. Now, again, I've changed in the settings for each individual image that I import into the timeline to be one frame. So as you can see, I'm zooming in. So this will be exactly the way I want the timeline to play out in regards to one photo per frame to get you a very smooth time lapse. So here I'm doing preview auto. So the quality is a little bit lower so that way it can handle the playback. So if you see here, it's going very smooth, one photo per frame. Now, I'm doing this in an HD timeline, so I want to get rid of these black bars on the side because this photo aspect ratio does not match 16 by nine. We're gonna click here on the pan crop. Now there are different ways you can do it, but this is the easiest way. You go to match output aspect. Now this will automatically make your photo go into a 16 by 9. Now you can go down like I want my frame to have go more towards the bottom. So I'm bringing down the cut there. Now is perfectly 16 by 9. This one is not and the rest are not. So what you could do is you can right click, copy this image. Now you're gonna select the next frame and then you're gonna zoom out, go to that last frame. So you're gonna hold shift and you're gonna click on that last image, right click, and then you're going to paste event attributes. Now it's going to copy and paste the edit that you did for the cropping. So now every photo is in the exact same location with the same aspect ratio. So again, play that back and now it's 
super smooth. So this was about 140 something shots and it turns into six seconds and six frames. So again, that's really all you have to do to get a smooth time lapse. Now that's you taking individual photos, a real time lapse, not a mimicked time lapse where you take a video file that you've recorded a long period of time and then speed that up. This is an actual time lapse with photos. So once you have that, then you can do your render file render as, and then you can choose again, whatever format that you decide to go with to match your timeline. I have one here that's already set for this project. So we just call this uh, Los Angeles time lapse and make sure that it's not on loop render. Perfect. Render that out. And once that's done, I will show you the finished version. So that is pretty much how you do a time lapse on Vegas Pro. Now there are other techniques to make time lapses either more dynamic or even more smooth by adding a certain type of stabilization you can do where you pan and crop with automation so that it can move throughout the time lapse. Um, that's a different video that I'll do to go more specific into how to get creative time lapses with your stills. But here, this pretty much is exactly what you need in order to edit a time lapse correctly. One photo per frame. I hope this helped you guys out. Definitely make sure you guys drop a like on the video and drop a comment below if you have any more questions about how the time lapse works. And I'll do my best to answer that. And also, please make sure to subscribe. I greatly appreciate all your support and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.